Oh, it's cold. Hey guys, welcome to Realistic Fishing. Today I just want to share a little short video with you talking about what you need for land-based fishing. I want to share with you just the simple tips that I've been learning along the way, as well as a bargain I picked up recently that I think it's, it's just really, really cool, and I just want to share that information with you. So, let's talk about what you need to land-based fish. Oh, and before I forget, <laughs> at the end of this video will also be a little bit of a shed tour just showing you guys uh, how I set up my shed. It's not easy when you're renting somewhere, like myself, uh, to just build your, you know, your shed how you want it. So you've got to uh, do what you can when you're renting. So I'll give you a little shed tour at the end of this video as well. Enjoy. So you may be like me. You love fishing, but there's no way you can afford a boat. Well, that's me. <laughs> and so I do a lot of land-based fishing and I have fallen in love with land-based fishing. Well, what I've learned along the way is that when you're land-based fishing, you need a pack light. Uh, you're jumping around rocks and, and wherever you're going, you're bush bashing, walking through crazy places, the hard places to find the best spots. You have to do the hard trekking. So when you're land-based fishing, these are some things that you're going to need. Small backpack, you always want to pack light when you're land-based fishing. What I do is I just have my, my knife, my pliers, I have uh, spare lures, hook sinkers, spare line, and often because I, I like to go out by myself, it's a bit of a meditation for me fishing, land-based fishing, often pack a little uh, medical kit, uh, a little first aid kit as well just to be safe. You want to take some food, and some water, because if you're like me, when you say it's the last cast, you're there for an extra hour, and you start getting a little bit peckish, have your backpack, fill it up, but only a small backpack, because you're gonna be doing a lot of trekking. Obviously, you want your rod, you want your reel, and now I wanna show you something that I've picked up for a bargain that I think really helps. What I've got here is, Something I picked up from Super Cheap Auto. Let me show you. No, you're not going to carry this whole big bulky thing with you, but this is something good to have in the shed, and I'll tell you why right now. What I love about this thing is it was only 25 bucks from Super Cheap Auto, and what you get in it is lots of these removable tackle trays. Now, they're meant for bolts and screws, and that's why I was sold at Super Cheap Auto. But, not sponsored by them, don't work there, I'm just saying this is a good bargain, so if you want to get it, it's great. When you look at it, say if I want to go um, bait fishing, I pull out my bait fishing little box, chuck it straight, whoa, don't fall, chuck it straight in my backpack. Let's say I'm going bass fishing, I take out my bass fishing box, chuck it straight in my backpack. You get the, get the idea. In the top, I have soft plastics. So this just shit sits on my shelf. Sits, not shizers, <laughs> on my shelf. And uh, if I wanna go um, to use, use some soft plastics, I just grab soft plastics out of there. A bargain, if you guys want one of those. I find that it's much easier just using those small tackle trays and chucking them into my backpack than it is to lug around a, 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 another bag or a huge tackle box. Those trays, I believe, is, is almost an essential when you're land-based fishing because you want to pack light. So that's just a couple of things I wanted to share with you. Now let's do a little shed tour and you can see what I've done in my rented house and how you can do something similar as well. So back home here in the shed to show you my little setup. Nothing fancy, I don't claim to have all the best gear, but this is what I've done. So this is my rod rack. My wife got it for me, it was like 30 bucks. Cheap as chips. Good old Jarvis Walker. Uh, but who cares about the brand of a, of a rod rack, seriously. So I've got here, I've got my uh, two cheap, bought from the servo, um, things you spear with, hand spears. I've got my rods here, smaller rods on this side, bigger rods on this side. Uh, a gaff my dad gave me for Christmas. Hopefully we'll use that on a big Jew soon. Uh, this is um, a shelving system. My stepdad actually bought me when I was like 16 and getting into fishing. 
and you can see here I've got my uh, my reels. I just keep my reels here on top. Um, I've got up here. I've got my fishing line, extra lures that don't fit in my tackle boxes, pliers, and you can see what I've done here because I'm renting the place. Um, I've sneakily screwed some screws into these shelves that were already here. Screwed a screw into the top of this piece of wood I just had laying around, and I've just done all these hooks along here to hang things in. I think it's, if you guys are renting as well, um, what you can do is like just buy a big piece of ply or something really, screw those um, hooks in and just lean it up against the wall um, if you've got nowhere else to, to hang gear or anything because you, you can never really screw stuff in to something even though I kind of did that to the shelf but it's okay, it's underneath, I don't think they'll notice it too much. Anyways, here's my tackle box as I just show you, showed you before. Here's a bigger tackle box with my Murray Cod Lures trout gear is in there. Um, then I've just got some kayak stuff down here, ropes and stuff. I've got here stuff for spearfishing. Um, just some wetsuits. I hang my uh, backpack there. Up the top here I've got my bigger backpack, another small backpack. My old uh, this is my old spear gun, um, love to use that again soon. This is some stuff I just use for cleaning up my reels. I like to grease the gears every once in a while, um, just to make sure they're going. Spray them with WD-40 as well. Um, and yeah, that's basically the shed. Oh, I've got some things over there, what are they they're called? Um, <laughs> lost for words, nets. Um, just hang my knife and things here. Uh, kayaks just laying on the side here. Um, yeah, and we have to fit two cars. We have to fit two cars in this garage. So that's just my little paradise, my little shed corner. Tiny, we're renting, but that's the little, yeah, the shed tour. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, send through um, some pictures maybe or, or some comments in the comment section of, um, yeah, your little shed setup. Um, describe to me how you've done it, if you've been renting or maybe you own your place as well. Um, yeah, I'd love to know. Hope you guys enjoy the next video. I'm going out kayak fishing this afternoon on the dam, Copeton Dam. I have not caught a cod in the kayak on the dam yet and it's winter. Don't know how my chances will go but we'll give it a go anyways. Um, other than that, I'm going to be doing some more saltwater fishing soon um, and that's going to be, um, going to be chasing a big dewy. I'd love to catch a big dewy. It's been a while since I have. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, subscribe by clicking this circle here. You can check out some of my other fishing videos and hopefully I'll catch a fish this afternoon so I can put up more content for you. Um, yeah, until then, see you later. Bye. Enjoy your Sunday or whatever day it is you're watching it. Bye. Bye.